Welcome to Movement with Mar. Maximum awesome results. Hi, I'm Marlene, and today we are going to review and do eight basic daily exercises. Always remember, you might want to have a little drink with you. We'll be in our chair, and if you'd like to have a pillow behind your back, feel free to use that for more support. Make sure your shoes, if you have laces or double tie, and always consult a physician before starting any exercise program. On that note, let's begin eight daily exercises. Number one, chin tucks. So we're going to take our chin, and what we would like to do is, we would like to pull our neck back. So we're kind of tucking our chin, pulling back, and releasing. For some of us, when we are seated, we're rounding forward and our head kind of hangs, and that overextends the muscles in the back of our neck. And then it also tightens the muscles in the front of our neck. So what we need to do is we need to take that chin and tuck it back. So let's try to do that four times. Here we go. Let's tuck back. Relax. Now I'll exaggerate a little by turning sideways. Let's tuck back. Relax. Tuck back. Relax. And one more tuck back. And relax. All right. Let's take a few inhales, floating arms. Inhale, floating the arms up, exhaling out. Again, take that breath in, and exhale out. And one more time up, and exhale out. Now let's just round and roll the shoulders. So we round forward, and then we roll the shoulders back. And let's round forward, roll the shoulders back, and round forward, rolling the shoulders back, stacking the vertebrae up out of the hips. So let's try those four chin tucks again. Let's tuck back and relax. Now let's over-exaggerate. Tuck back, reach the head forward, just the head. Come into your neutral, then tuck back, relax. Reach the head forward, Come into neutral, tuck back, relax. One more time. Reach the head forward, come into neutral, tuck back and hold. Holding, holding, and then relax. Whew, let's shake that all out. Okay, so we're lifted up out of our hips and our second stretch for our daily stretches is our chest stretch. And so I want to give you a few options. And the first option I'd like to give you, let's just drop our arms down by our sides and then pull the arms back a little bit, squeezing the shoulder blades and come into neutral. So once again, I'm going to turn and exaggerate. Pull the shoulder blades back. Here we are pulling the shoulder blades back. And then when we relax, let's round. Oh, so we feel that round. So we have to stack the vertebrae up and just pull the hands back. Palms are facing each other in towards the chair. So if I'm facing forward, my palms are just facing towards the chair. And I'm pulling the shoulder blades back, stretching through the chest. Oh, gravity's already rounding us forward. We're all sunken down in our chair. So let's stack the vertebrae, feel the stack, relax the arms, and then pull the shoulder blades back, squeezing in right in the middle of your shoulder blades, trying to touch them as you stretch through the chest. That's our first chest stretch that we can do. Now, if it's comfortable for us, let's turn our palms out, lift our arms a little bit, keep the elbows down and 
Just let the arms hang. If you can touch your shoulders, that's great. If not, it's all right also. And that, that second chest stretch would be pulling the elbows back a little bit higher here. Oh, here we are a little higher. Pulling back, stretching a little bit more through the chest. Back to normal, and then maybe we bring our elbows close out here in front. So we come into our neutral, then we pull back and stretch. Our eyes and our head are just facing forward, just pulling back a little bit. So here I am in neutral. I come in here, maybe I round a little bit, and I stack the vertebrae. I open into neutral, and then I pull my elbows down and back. Oh, stretching through that chest, looking straight ahead. Ah, and one more. Oh, rounding, rolling the shoulders forward, stacking the vertebrae, opening the arms, and pulling down and back. Ah, shake out those hands, roll those shoulders. That was our second chest stretch, and chest stretch is our second chest, second stretch. Wow, I have a little, little tongue twister there. Chest, second, stretch. All right. So if we can take even a little bit more, let's take our arms all the way out extended. Let's open up nice and wide and pull back. Ooh. Let's bring our hands, crossing our arms, rounding everything. Now stacking the vertebrae, opening nice and wide, and stretching, ah, our third chest stretch. Rounding again, recrossing the arms, tucking everything, stacking the vertebrae, opening the arms, coming into neutral. This would be neutral right here, neutral. And then pulling back, ah, pulling back, yes. And one more time, rounding in, tucking, mm. then stacking, feel your stack, then uncross the arms, opening, Taking those arms back, oh, stretching through the chest, then turning the palms down, relaxing the shoulders, rolling back, shaking everything out. Whew. So we actually had three levels for our chest stretch. We had arms down, we had almost touching shoulders, lifted elbows, and then we had arms straight out, Opening nice and wide. Ah, rolling those shoulders back, rounding, rounding, stacking. So we had our chin tucks and our chest stretch. Those were our two. Now let's think about our back. Our back also needs stretch. Most times we may be sunken down in our chair, and we might be leaning back in our chair and I'm asking us to stack the vertebrae straight up. So tuck the chin, roll off the sit bones, lean back in our chair and feel that support back in the chair. If you have your pillow behind you to help you with your stacking, I want you to lean back into that pillow and just relax and then drop the arms down, so we're relaxed in our chair, dropping the arms down, and taking the arms out in front of us. And if it feels okay to clasp the fingers or lace the fingers, lace your fingers, and tuck your chin, and someone's pulling from your wrists, pulling straight out, the chin is tucked. Oh, and then, Relax the shoulders and bring the arms back. Maybe rest, rest the palms of the hands, relaxing the elbows right on your belly. That feels good. And then once again, begin the stretch. So let's tuck the chin, holding the chin down to the chest, 
Extend the arms out, reaching the arms, the fingers are laced. If that's uncomfortable, just maybe touching the fingertips together, keeping that chin tucked, feeling the stretch, and then bringing the arms back, bending at the elbows, resting the hands and looking straight ahead with our eyes. Ah, relaxing the shoulders. One more time, let's tuck the chin. Extend the arms out. Fingers are either laced or the tips are just tucking. Reaching out, or we could have palms flat. Oh, extending out. Whew, feeling that stretch. Now bringing the arms in, uncurling the head, relaxing the arms down, releasing the hands and shaking out. Whew, since we're in our chair and supported with our pillow, this would be a good time to take a little drink of water. That was our third stretch. We had our chin tuck, our chest stretch, and our back stretch, third. So let's take our little drink of water. Mm. Oh, so good. I like to have a cap or a lid on my container just in case, placing it under my chair. And so I'm going to stack up. You can keep your pillow there if you'd like. I'm going to scooch back a little bit in my chair so that I'm stacked and I'm, I'm raising. I'm going to take my hands. I'm lacing the fingers again. I'm tucking and I'm rolling back into my chair, tucking my chin out. Oh, that feels so good here. This is just another option. Now I'm stacked. I'm raising my hands. I'm placing my palms together. Thumbs are up, and I'm rolling back into my pillow, tucking my chin, reaching my fingers out. Whew. This is a second option. I stack. I relax my arms a little bit. I shake that out. I lower my hands, arms. Now what I'd like us to do is flip, flip, so I roll the shoulders and I flip my thumbs back. Now my thumbs are down as I lift my arms. I take the backs of my hands together. I'm still stretching my back and I'm reaching. Oh, that's feeling so good. This is another option for us. This is our third option, thumbs down, stacking the vertebrae. And just with the thumbs down, I can feel a little stretch through the back, middle of the back. I might tilt a little, oh. I come back to my center. I tilt a little, and I come back to my center. I place the hands down on the tops of my legs. Whew, I feel relaxed, and I stack the vertebrae, and then I shake out my hands. Feeling so good. So I wanna move into our fourth stretch, and I'm just going to remove my pillow, and I want to turn a little bit because our fourth stretch is our back extension. And I'd like you to see my back so you're seeing what a back extension looks like. And I can relax my arms, my hands are on my legs. I am stacked vertical. I feel a little lifted out of my hips. I am practicing that chin tuck. So my chin is tucked as I arch my back. Now, my chin is slightly tucked, but my eyes and my head are gazing up towards where the wall and the ceiling meet. So that's where I'm looking. I'm not dropping the back of my neck. I'm just looking up as I arch my back. And then I stack and I look straight ahead. So I arch my back, I lift up through my chest, I look to that crease. I'm arching my back. I'm relaxing. That's why I want to put my arm here so you can see that I'm arching. 
And then I step. Now I'm vertical. So with that arm, I arch my back. Oh, just a slight arch again, looking up. And then I look straight ahead. I relax my arm down. Let's take that other arm and touch that shoulder and arch again. Whew. And straighten. Now I'm going to turn my body to the other side. So my arm that's closest to you, I want to cross and put it on my shoulder. So you can see that I'm, I'm straight, I'm stacked. And then I arch, and I look up towards where the ceiling and the wall meet, and then I stack again. And I arch, and I stack again. And I arch, and I stack again. So that's only if that's comfortable for you. You can always keep your hands on top of your legs, on your knees, and arch here, or if it feels better, drop the arms, or we can cross, and you can cross both arms, arching. Now I want to give you a third option, only if it feels good. Let's bend at the elbows and extend our arms up to wherever's comfortable for you. If all the way up is comfortable, great. If arms bending here is fine, that's okay too. And then arch. Ooh, that's a little bit more. Or this is a little bit more. Whatever is comfortable. Coming back to your center. Back to the center. Now let's arch the back. Or arch the back. Whew. And lift. Feel that lifting up out of the hips. I'm back into my chair, and I have my pillow. I'm still stacked. I still am arching. I'm placing space between my pillow and my back, and then I stack. Keep in mind, you have that chin tuck, not dropping the head. Slight chin tuck. So we have our chin tuck. We have our chest stretch, we have our back stretch, and then we have our back extension. That back stretch is more for the upper back, feeling so good. So let's stay stacked here, and let's bend our elbow, and let's tilt and extend our arm. Good morning, Bailey, or good afternoon and lower, depending on when you're watching. So we want to tilt first and then reach, side bend. Bend the elbow back and come into our center. One more time. Let's tilt and reach. Now bend the elbow back and to our center. Relax that arm down. So we want to tilt, we feel what that tilt's like, we come back to center. Then we bend our elbow, excuse me. We tilt and then we reach across, side bend, bring the arm back, center. We tilt, we reach across. Oh, we have that side bend. We come back to center here and bring it down. So we have arms down by our sides. We can tilt or slide, side bend, back to center. We can slide, we can hang on to our chair. Coming back to center. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> One more each side. Slide and back to center. And again on the slide and 
back to center. Let's shake everything up. Whew. So we had our chin tuck was number one. Chest stretch is number two. Upper back stretch is number three. Back extension is number four. Side bends, number five. And now we want to do our seated hip stretch with crossed legs. So let's cross it right at our ankle. Let's lift up out of our hips and lean slightly forward. Holding on that lean and then stack the vertebrae. Roll back into your chair. So let's lift, lean slightly forward. Our body's in a diagonal here. We're supporting, our elbows are relaxed. Our head is right in line with our neck. We lift up out of our hips and then we relax back into our chair. Let's do it one more time. Stack the vertebrae. Lean slightly forward. Here's our lean. Stack the vertebrae up. Relax back into the chair. Uncross the leg. Cross the other leg. So we know what this is like. And we also know that we're stacking here and we're going to lean forward. So what I'd like us to do on this lean is let's work with our opposite arm. So as we lean forward, let's extend our opposite arm out. Now our thumb is up and our palm is in. Leaning forward, stacking the vertebrae, relaxing back. So let's lift as we stack, lean forward, Extend the opposite arm out, right by our bicep. You can keep that elbow bent. Reaching forward, feeling that stretch. Relax the arm back and stack the vertebrae up. Relax into the chair. One more time. Stacking the vertebrae, leaning forward. Extend the arm out, reaching. Bring the arm back to your leg and stack the vertebrae. Relax back into your chair. Uncross your legs. Now you can recross at your ankle, or if it feels okay, we can bring that leg up and just stack the vertebrae and hold on to somewhere, holding your foot, cradling underneath your knee, and just that stacking up, we can feel that stretch. Relax back into your chair. Once again, stack, and then relax. We have one more stack, and relax. Taking that leg off, leaning back into your chair, lifting the leg up, crossing it over if it's comfortable, holding on. So let's stack here. I want to give you another option. We can stay stacked. Here's a slight lean. Whew, we're just leaning into it. Stacking the vertebrae. Relaxing back. Again, we have our stack. Then we lean. Work with your body, breathing in and out, not holding your breath. Feel the stack. Relax back. If the leg is comfortable here and this is comfortable for you, just lean from here. If that stack is a little bit too much or it's uncomfortable for you, leaning back in your chair, just roll the body forward here. If we can stack and feel that stack and then lean forward, whatever works with you and for your body, 
Feeling that stretch down through and into the hip. This is a heated, heated, seated hip stretch. Stacking up, rolling back. That's another tongue twister. Seated hip stretch. Ah, relaxing, releasing that leg. Okay, our last stretch, number eight. Eight daily exercises. I'm going to remove my, my pillow. And this is our spine twist. And so I want to rotate. And all I'm doing, my arms are hanging. And I take, I take my opposite arm across. And I just look. And I come back into my center. I take the opposite arm across. And I look. I come back into center, opposite arm on the leg, rotate and look, back to center, opposite arm, rotate and look. That's one position, staying stacked. Now if leaning back is okay, you can rotate here and that feels good and just back to your center. And rotate here and back to center, relaxing the shoulders down. Here's a little rotation, pulling that same arm as you're looking to your rotation. Elbow comes back on the side of your chair. Back, rotate, pulling the elbow, then the arm crosses over. So if we're seated back here, those are options for you. Stacking up. Once again, turning the arms, bringing them up here, if that's okay. Now rotate. Back to center. Here's an inhale. Exhale as we rotate. Inhale to center. Exhale on the rotation. Inhale to center. Exhale on the rotation. Back into your center. Relaxing the arms, rolling back into your chair. Ah, taking that little drink of water, finishing ourselves off. With our eight daily exercises. <clears throat> Movement with Mar for maximum awesome results. Our chin tuck release. Our chest stretch release. Our upper back stretch release. Our back extension release. Our side bend, release, the other side bend, release, our hip stretch, release, our hip stretch, Release our spine twist. Release and a spine twist. Release. And our last toes up, reach forward, hamstrings and back. Slide down and back. And last one, slide and back. For maximum awesome results, taking our inhale here. Ha! <sighs> 
taking this wonderful feeling with you throughout your day and reminding yourself that you are strong, stretched, and centered. Happy, happy day. Woo! Hope to see you again. Thank you.